In this video, I will walk you through how to customize the RSS feed in WordPress. All-in-One SEO is the best WordPress SEO plugin that allows you to easily optimize your WordPress website for search engines and social media platforms. If you've not done so already, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. To get started, we're going to install a plugin called All-in-One SEO, and I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to check this out. And we're going to be using the pro version of All-in-One SEO. So go ahead and grab a copy of All-in-One, and once you have an account, let's click on Login. On the left-hand side, let's enter the email address and password that you used to sign up with. Next, let's go ahead and click on the Downloads tab right here, and we're going to click on Download All-in-One SEO. On the bottom left-hand side, you'll see a license key. You can click the icon to copy this. And we can close this window for now. Next, let's go to plugins and add new and upload plugin. Here you can drag this zip file onto the choose file button, or you can click this to select the file from your hard drive. Next, let's click on install now. And let's go ahead and click on activate plugin. Now this will take you through the setup wizard if you wish to do that. I'm gonna click on go back to the dashboard. And lastly, we wanna enter our license key. So we can click one of the links to add that. And right here, you'll see the license key box. We're just going to paste that in and click connect. If everything is successful, you should see a green checkbox here. If you still have this tab open on the bottom of your browser, you can close that. And we want to make sure that we're on the all-in-one SEO menu and then under general settings, that's where we are right now. And then we'll see a little tab here called RSS content. Let's go ahead and click on that. So by default, WordPress will already create an RSS feed for you. However, it doesn't really give you many options to customize it. And that's where All-in-One SEO steps in. And we can add some before content and after content to this. We can preview this by opening your RSS feed here. Now the website that I'm working on right now is just a test website, so it doesn't have too much content. However, if I head over to allinoneseo.com slash feed, you can see that there's way more content in here and you can also separate these and browse by different sections of your website. So for example, here's blog slash feed, and this is all of our blog posts and there's a lot there. Now in the early days of the internet, it was more difficult to keep track of new content and updates for your favorite websites. Back then you had to bookmark them and manually visit each site to see if there were any new updates. Fortunately, the RSS feed solved that problem by allowing visitors to keep track of their favorite websites without having to manually visit each site. So they used an RSS reader and they could subscribe to these feeds. So even though the interest in RSS feeds has gone down over the past years and has been replaced by social media and Google News, it's still great for bloggers that want to make sure Google credits their content as the original source. So more specifically, what All-in-One allows you to do is add links back to your blog and your blog posts so that web scrapers will automatically add these links too. This helps search engines identify you as the original source of the content. So if we come down, we can see the RSS before content. So if we want to customize it, this will appear right before your post or your content that Google is scraping or our RSS feed is looking at. So for example, if we just want to put the author link here before your content, you could go ahead and do that. We have a list of tags here that you could use. So category title, post link, site link, etc. And then at the bottom here, we have after content. And by default, all in one SEO is showing this right here. This is a paragraph and it says the post, and then it shows the post link first appeared on site link. So this will show your blog post title and it'll be linkable to your original content and then it first appeared on your website site so this would be a site link where people could click through to see that again you can completely customize this and you can see there's some html in here mixed with text and then our dynamic smart tags you can also type in the hashtag and this will bring up a list of all of the tags as well if you need to and that's the same thing as just clicking view all tags once you're happy with your before content and your after content you can save changes and there you go, you're all set. All-in-one SEO makes it incredibly easy to customize your RSS feed. Now that you know how to customize the RSS feed in WordPress, check out this video on the ultimate guide to setting up all-in-one SEO. This video is great for making sure you have everything set up correctly and that you are well on your way to excellent SEO results. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.